this is a knee wall in the same home with the elevator. It's actually right next to the elevator. There's the elevator. And there's this big knee wall that spans all the way around here. You can see somebody took the time to foam at least some of the joints. But then there's a big gaping hole at the top up here. You can see where there's a gap right in that area. And then over on the next one over, there's a big gap. So that's just allowing airflow to go right through, get into that fiberglass, rob its R value, and really not work very well. And in this case, on much of this knee wall, there's actually another stud on the other side of this insulation. So there's a three inch air gap on the other side. And if you don't have the insulation in contact with uh, the, the thermal boundary, which is going to be the drywall, it really doesn't work for squat. So this may actually end up having an effective R value of pretty close to zero. And that's really a shame when a little bit of foam would make this an air sealed cavity and all of a sudden everything would work.